So over the last several weeks, we've talked about the MCAT, the personal statement, the interview, the application, and kind of things that you need to know before all of that stuff happens. And now, hopefully you have that acceptance in hand, and I'm gonna to talk to you all about what you need to know after you have that acceptance and before medical school. What's up guys, my name is Dr. Ryan Gray here at premed.tv and I'm excited to bring you another video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of more great videos here every week. All right, so you have that acceptance in hand. Now, I'm sure that is something that you will remember for the rest of your life, where you were when you got that first medical school acceptance. I remember when I got my acceptance, my one and only acceptance to medical school. I was in Boston, I was working that day. I was a, a fitness program manager for Boston Sports Clubs, managing uh, part of the gym and the, the personal trainers at the gym. And my mom called and she was crying. And I was like, oh crap, who died now? Right? That was typically what happened when people called crying. But she was crying and she's like, oh, sit down, right? And, and then she started reading the letter that I got from New York Medical College. It was sent to her, which was my permanent address on record. So something that I will never forget for the rest of my life when I realized that I was going to be a physician. Now you hopefully are in that situation as well. And the question comes, what do I do next? How can I prepare, typically, is the question that comes. How can I prepare for medical school? And we'll get to that question in a minute. But I first want you, the first thing that I need you to understand when it comes to post-acceptance is to make sure that you are reading everything coming from the medical school that you are accepted at. Every line, every word. If you miss something that comes, that is, hey, if you don't respond to this, we are going to consider that you are not interested in coming to our school anymore and we'll remove you from your acceptance. That can happen and has happened and will happen in the future. Make sure that you are reading everything coming to you. If you need an extra set of eyes reading everything, right, forward all of those emails to your mom, your dad, your significant other, someone else to double check everything that is coming your way as well. The next thing I need you to understand is that you're going to probably have to get back into FAFSA and do all of that financial stuff. All of that paperwork should again be coming from the medical school when it comes to making sure that all of your loans are ready to rock and, and all of your budget and all of that stuff is good to go once you are in medical school. So be prepared for that. If you have bad credit, try to fix it as fast as possible. You don't wanna get into a situation where you are not eligible for loans because you have terrible credit. And it takes really bad credit to not be able to get government loans for school, but it has happened, it will happen again in the future. Just make sure it is not you that it's happening to. The next point I need you to really understand is that that acceptance is always conditional. It's conditional on you meeting all of the requirements for matriculation at that medical school. So if that medical school has one weird required class that you haven't taken before, make sure that you take it before you start or you're supposed to start at that medical school. That acceptance is conditional, meaning if you do something to screw up, you get arrested, you get a DUI, you should be reporting everything as soon as possible to the medical school. Don't try to hide anything because that'll just go worse. Now, I, I have talked to students, unfortunately, who have been accepted, who have gotten a DUI between being accepted and starting medical school and usually coming out and saying, hey, I screwed up, here's what happened, here's what I'm gonna do to fix it, just like you would do before uh, if, if all of that happens before you apply to medical school. And, and a lot of times the medical schools are like, yep, we know that happens. Don't screw up again, right? We'll still accept you. Be open, honest. Just remember that that acceptance is conditional and can be taken away. If you are in a master's program or some sort of other program, you applied to medical school and you got in, a lot of times students will ask me, do I have to finish that program? And the answer usually is no, you don't typically have to, 
But I would talk to the school that you were accepted to and say, hey, like I was in this program, I, I thought I was gonna go down this route, but I got into medical school and I'm really excited. I think I've met all of the required courses for you. Is it okay? Like, will it look badly? Will you take away my acceptance if I would remove myself from this program so that I can save money, so that I can go get these other experiences, whatever it is for those reasons why you don't wanna finish that program. Reach out to the school where you accepted and, and really ask them. One of the biggest questions that I get from students is, can I prepare for medical school? What classes should I be taking? What should I do to prepare myself for medical school? And we've all heard the, the kind of cliched analogy of medical school is like drinking from a fire hose. And it is 1000% true. And I talked to so many students who are like, I've, I heard you say that all the time. And now I understand what you mean. I didn't know medical school was going to be this hard. And so students, when they hear me say that, go, okay, I'm going to prepare even more. I'm going to read more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And my answer always is, and 90, probably 9% of physicians will tell you and medical students will tell you, there's no way to prepare for medical school. So don't bother. Once you get your acceptance, if you have no other obligations, you're, you're working a little bit here, or you're taking a class there, whatever's going on, relax. You got into medical school. You're going to be a doctor. Now go have fun. Go travel, go spend time with family, go spend time with loved ones, because once you start medical school, your life will change. It'll change for the better. It'll be hard, but it'll be fun. You're going to have a blast, but don't try to prepare for it by taking anatomy or studying anatomy or learning Latin or whatever else, right? Maybe go listen to some podcasts about medical school and, and what to expect and just, just to get an idea of what's going on but don't think that you're going to prepare for medical school, it just won't happen. And the last thing that I want you to understand is that you're going to be a physician. All of your hard work has finally paid off. Now, there is still a lot more work to go, right? It's that meme of a, the little rock climber climbing the mountain, he gets to the peak, and then he looks up and goes, oh, that's just halfway up. I gotta keep going. And then he goes to the next one and he goes, oh wait, no, there's still more, right? That's, that's what getting into medical school is like. You think you've accomplished it all. There's still a lot more, but a lot of times that's the hardest part. Just getting in is the hardest part for a lot of you. And you've done that. And now you are going to be a physician. So congratulations. It's amazing that you've accomplished so much. There's a lot more to, to do. So keep fighting, keep pushing, keep working hard.